So, to help people who watched the video made by Shulkercraft explaining this mob farm in Java Edition, I would like to help you if you play on Bedrock. Um, that design will not work. Uh, it uses something called... Oh, and I can think of the word, but it basically means uh, magic where redstone power is transmitted through a block if you update the blocks correctly. And you can see, since I have conduit power on, I basically have night vision, so I can see all of this, which is quite nice uh, for what I'm doing. Um, because I am showing you the the new design that I came up with for the redstone and water drop dropper system. So just under this repeater here, you can see that there is, in fact, an observer uh, with this redstone line. So, in the original design, the uh, Shulkercraft only wanted us to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks out, and then put a comparator with a lever on both sides, without the comparator and lever, obviously. Um, instead, I'd recommend going all the way to the end of this farm, uh, uh, end of the roof, and he also said 14 blocks. He did play 17 blocks, so I did that also. In Bedrock, just one bottom slab won't do it, so I'd recommend placing uh, blocks, full blocks, and then a layer of bottom slabs so mobs don't spawn, and mobs will not spawn on redstone no matter what, so you're good in that, in that area. So to complete this farm, you need to complete this redstone circuit, it basically just goes in a circle, and update that real quick. The water should, yep, the water all spawns in, dropping the mobs off the side, and they are despawning because I'm too far away from the farm, but that's fine for all intents and purposes of this video. This dropper faces directly down. Uh, the, this is the block uh, of the roof. This dropper faces downwards towards this half slab here, and then this... Uh, Observer obviously faces upwards. Sorry, my night vision ran out. Hold on. There we go. This... This Observer faces upwards, and then... Uh... On the bottom side, if I removed this, you could see a red dot on the Observer, and that will... And you gotta put that on every layer. On the bottom, you do not need an Observer. They aren't necessary, so... Uh, that will save you some... Uh, redstone right there, some quartz and redstone. And then the bottom system's all the same down here. And now this mob, this mob farm will work on bedrock at full efficiency.